Hello, I'm Vicky and welcome to your July reading. I thought it would be nice as the weather is lovely out there, especially in the Northern Hemisphere because we're enjoying the summer and that's the time for music festivals and, uh, you know, out outdoor events uh, and all that kind of thing. So I thought it would be lovely to uh, use my music oracles as a means of helping you tune into your reading. Uh, you are welcome to choose all three. You're welcome to choose one, two, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you are drawn to. And we have some lovely cards pulled out for you. We have Bob Marley. And uh, I'm just going to read the inspiration quotes on each one. So uh, if you feel drawn to Bob Marley, we've got everything that is holy is among us here on earth. We have Prince. Your dream home lies outside of time. And finally, we have Michael Jackson. The world is the dance floor of the creator. So if any of those, if you feel drawn to any of these musical icons, then they will hopefully join you into a reading. And uh, just check out the timestamps and uh, I will meet you there. So uh, take care and I'll see you soon. Hello card one, you have chosen the fabulous singular Bob Marley. I can remember my dad when uh, I was a little girl, he had Bob Marley albums and uh, never, obviously as a kid, it doesn't really gel with you. But yeah, as you grow, as you grow older, you kind of learn to appreciate um, some of these uh, more classic um, artists. But um yeah, I certainly can appreciate him more now and what he stood for than I could when I was a little girl anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, Bob Marley. A small axe can fall, fell the tallest tree. And, that, you know, that's very true. Even a small act can make big differences. So, uh, you know, one needs to think about that when we are perhaps looking in July and thinking of maybe changes we want to make to ourselves it's not about making big changes it's about doing small things that result that that result in bigger what's the word for it i'm losing my words um bigger results small small actions can have bigger big big results yeah so uh, i think you know that's kind of what we're getting across here um and the other little bit he's got there is the lifestyle and he says that the fruits of Babylon are rotten to the core and again that's kind of um that's really does ring true with today's modern society and everything's about buying stuff and um you know having the latest things and the amount of damage that can do to the environment whereas maybe if we lived our lives a little bit more simply and appreciated the simple things in life and maybe put a little bit more effort into things rather than wanting convenience um then you know we'll be doing right by the planet rather than uh you know having modern conveniences that harm other people elsewhere you know that that's kind of what you've got to think about um and uh i shall just read a little blurb on him i haven't done these for a while and they're, they are really nice to just read the blurb and get a energy of the person Oof. I'm yawning like anything, so that probably means there's a lot of energy flow. I, I, I really am feeling it, actually. There's a lot of energy flowing around this evening. <laughs> right, we've got here, we've got Champion of Equality, Chronicle of Black People Struggle for Freedom, Sufferer, Eloquent Witness, and Fearless Enemy of the Downpressers and colonialists everywhere. Bob Marley remains a spokesman for the oppressed and an icon of liberation decades after his death. He put in his life he put his life on the line to express the truth and his music, an irresistible mix of righteous rebellion and physical and spiritual joy continues to be the voice of displaced people worldwide. Marley understood that the struggle for power might result in bloodshed. But he also maintained that if humankind failed to stand together, 
it would fail to stand at all. Exactly. You know, we all need to work together, not go off into our own little separate, um, what should we call it, our own little separate cliques. We won't solve anything in the world <laughs> if we go off into our little separate cliques because that's how the, um, that's how the powers that be control us, divide and conquer. You know, we all need to be together as one, you know, overcome our differences and, and, and work together for a better world. You know, that's what I believe anyway. Right. So I feel, again, I'm being drawn to, with with our lovely Bob Marley here, I'm being drawn to one love, you know, love everybody, you know, do, do what you can to make the world a better place. I, I can remember a lot, you know, the songs about, you know, one love and um all that kind of thing you know the the mess you know the messages that he sent he sent a lot of messages of love to the world and peace and harmony and everything else but uh anyway i'm gonna move on from my lovely bob marley but he certainly is he certainly his energy is um you know across this reading so let's have a look here our first card um the decks that i've chosen is the still the seasons of the witch beltane oracle despite you know beltane season being gone i'm just feeling a real urge to use this deck um it just feels right um i just feel there's such lovely warm tones in it and it, it, it just says, no, I'm not, re I'm not ready to be put away yet. I don't feel like my season's ended. So I'm going to let her um, come out to play and uh, let her tell you what she wants to tell you. So um, <laughs> we um, see here. And it's interesting, the first card that I've pulled, because I've pulled three of these. Oh, and the other deck, the tarot deck I'm using is the Elemental Power Tarot, which I'll explain a little bit more in a moment. We have a chant here, hear me loud, hear me roar, for I am here in my truth. And I really feel that that does strongly um, tie in with, uh, this is say, the Bob Marley card here. And I, I kind of feel that they're very much together. And, and what I feel here is perhaps there is a cause that you are going to take up in July. Um or a cause that's already close to your heart and maybe you're going to up things a little bit. Maybe you're, you're going to, you know, join a campaign group or, um, do some, do something more visible with something that feels that you feel really strongly about. Um, and, uh, you know, perhaps find community there. Um, you know, that kind of, that kind of thing. It's, it's what it feels like. <sighs> there's a campaign or something really close to your heart and you're going to um do more you're gonna go more in that direction you're gonna um take that on as something a little bit more serious or more responsibility or more active um what's it called activism in that area i feel there's a strong element of activism here um Again, we've got goat, and the goat says here, "I fearless. I, I am in. I am in the path. I choose. Uh, fearless. I am in the path. I choose. For I've never been led astray. Always finding my way. So again, I just, as I say, when I look at these three cards, something here about activism and um, you know, joining the joining a cause or upping upping your game regarding a cause." um community very much community um here and <laughs> the last one we've got here is primal there is no other way around but through every truth for the very truth lives within you so it's almost like i, I once it was not going around things it, it kind of feels to me like a bit like the bear hunt <laughs> if you've ever um read that to read that as a child or um you read it to your own children the whole can't go over it can't go under it got to go through it it, it is again it just feels like you can't be a bystander whatever this is whatever um 
is really close to your heart. You can't just sit there and be a bystander anymore. You need to actually show or do or you know, you've got to step up to the plate and just go for it. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's just this lovely energy here, really positive energy. Uh, so whatever it is you're going to be working towards, it's going to be a really positive thing. Uh, I mean, it could be something really similar. It could be a local thing. It could be, um, you know, wanting to improve your local area, wanting to um, join a neighbourhood watch or um, wanting to do community, you know, join a community group or something that... Um, I don't know, creates an allotment for local people to have veg food and vegetables or um, a, a group that raises money for charity for um, people with disabilities or something like that, some kind of cause that is going to be good for the community and it's also going to be good for you because a lot of the time when, when we help others, we in turn help ourselves. So um, definitely, you know, time to step up to the plate and, and uh, you know, up your up your activism as it were <laughs> right now we're going to come on to the tarot part of the reading now i've chosen the elemental power tarot for this one uh this one you're looking you you are basically looking at these in first person so whereas with these you're more third person with this you're you're very much first person um and what we've got here is we've got the Ten of Swords. Okay, we have the, I think this is the page. I don't think it's the Knight, but I think this is the page. I'll just double check. Because I do find, one of the things I find with the court cards on these is they can be quite tricky. It's certainly a coinage, isn't it? Yeah, this is the page of coins, as I thought it might be. Okay, and then we've got the three of cups. And then we've got um, two fives, or no, two sevens on the end. We've got the seven, seven of pentacles and the seven of swords. Right, okay. I think this is going to lead on a little bit from what I was saying about activism or join joining a cause um it says about caution okay um now <sighs> message i'm getting is don't let this put you off <laughs> all right that's what i said don't let it now don't let this put you off right that's what i'm hearing don't let this put you off but you might find that there may be, you, you know, you, you may find that there may be a little bit of jealousy. Or you may find that people ask you to do stuff and somebody else thought they were going to do it. And they might cause a bit of a stink. Um, obviously, we've got the, um, got the three of cups here. And we've got this page of coins. And it's almost like you're the newbie coming in and everybody's like really appreciating you and patting you on the back and well done, uh, all that kind of thing and uh, help us out with this. But then it's going to put someone's nose out of joint who maybe has been there a long time, um, thought that they were going to be able to do stuff that, um, you know, you perhaps you can do better or, um, you know, you're kind of going to be flavour of the month and that it's going to put somebody's nose out of joint. But what, what um, Spirit is saying is don't let that person put you off doing what you're doing, okay? You've got to just mentally prepare for it. There might be somebody who might be a bit funny. Now, either they will get the hump and leave or they will suck it up and they will learn to get on with you and you might even find they actually get on with you. It's just a little bit of sour grapes that they need to work through and overcome. Um, it's their problem, not yours. That with any form of jealousy, uh, be it your own jealousy for other people or um, jealousy of others against you, it is always the person who's jealous that is at fault. And when it's you, you have to work through that and you have to overcome it and you have to move on. 
And if it's them, then that's their problem. You know, as hard and as tough as it can be to deal with someone who is jealous, you know, it's them to recognise it in themselves and to deal with it. You know, it's not your it's not your shadow. <laughs> you know, it's part of their shallow element. It's part of their shadow element and it's up to them to deal with it. Right, okay. So last of all that we have, so as I say, just a quick quick recap for July is I see you looking at community work or activism, um, but be careful because when you get a loads of people together you'll meet loads of people it's absolutely great and then you get one one person that wants to spoil it all you know don't let them do that don't let them put you off just carry on okay right so finally um i thought it might be nice to have some mindfulness exercises for the month so this one is for you and we have this lovely picture of this lady stretching her arms out in a lovely field. We all want to be, we all want to be in that field and the woods and everything else. And we have mindful breathing. This exercise can be done almost anywhere and at any time. All you have to do is focus on your breathing for just one minute. Start by breathing in slowly through your nose and out through your mouth. One cycle should take around six seconds. Let go of your worries, to-do list and all other thoughts for a minute. Simply stand still. Watch your breathing purposefully. Focus your senses on its pathway and how it flows through your body. Repeat this exercise at least five times a day. Not all at once, obviously. Okay, so that's certainly something to uh, try this month and see how you get on. And if you do find that uh, really helpful to you, then please, you know, leave me a little comment. Let me know how you got on. My comments are on, um, I do put them on hold before I put them up. That's to stop. Uh, people spamming and scamming that's to protect you and to protect the channel rather than me just being awkward uh so say all posts are held for review um so be patient i do check them at least once a day to make sure that i'm not missing anybody um so you know after i've checked it it will go straight up if it's suitable um if not obviously you know if it's spammers then they're not going to get anywhere are they but uh that um is how we do things here okay so all that remains to be said is uh if you're going for um a different reading i'll see you there and if not i hope you've really enjoyed this reading and maybe you'll come back for my daily uh tolkien um daily tolkien readings i do uh a card of the day with uh, a tolkien themed with a tolkien themed uh decks i've got several quite a few of those now and i sort of alternate them each month um because i'm as I say i'm a bit of a tolkien fan um and so i uh, have that and I try and do uh, monthly readings. Uh, I try and get out a reading once a week, but I don't tend to do like themes for the week readings anymore. They just didn't feel right. So I just tend to uh, do a reading once a week with a bit of a theme to it if I can. Um, but I'm a carer, so um, my priority has to be my son who's autistic. Um, but apart from that, um, you know, feel free to um, leave me a message, comment, like, subscribe, because that all helps. Um, so thank you for listening, and I'll catch you soon. Bye, there you go. Bye. Hello, card two, and welcome to your reading. We have a fine couple of decks for you today. We have the Witch's Oracle along the top here, and we have a deck that I've had for a very long time, and that one is the Secret Tarot. And, uh, yes, it's uh, a deck that I have used for a number of years, so uh, we're very clued up on that one. Right, okay. Let's make a start. Now, the card that you chose from my music oracles 
is this one the uh with, with prince and he says do what you damn well like but always do it to the utmost that's his little uh, attitude there and then we have lifestyle never lose touch with your colorful side we certainly didn't he <laughs> was certainly a very colorful uh egg enigmatic and um re- a very much a reinventionalist he um liked to reinvent himself uh, on a number of occasions over the years until his uh, tragic passing um you know his music was uh very much the heart and outstanding and uh, he loved to experiment um and uh, yeah, he was one of my mum's favourites. My mum used to really thought Prince was absolutely amazing and she loved his music and stuff like that. Um, she probably still does. <laughs> but um, yeah, and our last little bit here, uh, we've got Your Dream Home Flies Out of Time. So um, yeah, I can remember, you know, I think I probably preferred his early stuff because that's what I grew up with. Um, like Raspberry Beret and um, Dove, the Dove's Cry and Purple Rain. Those are very much um, the sort of songs of my childhood, as it were. Um, but uh, yeah, we better get on with the reading. So let's see what pro- what energy Prince brings to the reading. Um, we look at his card. There is a very different energy from card a um i wouldn't say it's melancholy um i wouldn't say it's a negative energy it it, it feels like clouds that, that's that's the feeling i'm getting here it just it just feels like um i suppose a bit like the weather we've got at the moment hot muggy days you know it it, it it's the the rain is there but it's not a cold rain it's quite pleasant um and that's the energy I'm getting, these sort of hot, muggy, hot, muggy weather. <laughs> that's the only way I can describe it. Okay. So for our Witch's Oracle, we have, as the first card, we have Gaia and Healing. We have Broomstick and Cleansing. And we have Nemesis Lessons, which is very interesting because we do find that um, people who come into our life and cause you know and cause us distress or cause us problems nine times out of ten there is a there is a lesson that we must learn in our communications with that person it doesn't excuse that person's behavior it doesn't excuse what they did but the only thing you can do is take is is um learn learn from the experience however painful it can be um but when we're looking here um i do kind of feel with this with this um again with the with the prince thing um i kind of feel like there's an ending of a relationship here a friendship a love relationship marriage um I don't know, business partnership even, or a situation where it's not even a, it, it, it feels very mutual. This is a mutual decision. Um, it's always like we've got the sun and the moon and we've got the, the witch on the broomstick flying through. And it's almost like, um, I wouldn't say third party. I'd just say that this, this is, coming whatever it is is coming to a natural end and we have this healing card because you will grieve it's natural you've got to face that grieving process um even if it's just moving away from you know leaving the nest moving into your own space or but this is about leaving leaving somebody you care about or you've had a good relationship with or you know something isn't working out it's either that something isn't working out and you've both come to a mature decision and said right we're we're not gonna we're we're going to separate in some way or form or it's the fact that you're moving on somewhere as i say it could be leaving home 
Um, but it, 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 all I want to say is leaving someone you love, leaving someone you care about, um, it won't change anything. It's still going to happen. But leave, what I'm saying is, is leave nicely. You know, leave on a good note. Um, it doesn't have to be a bad leave. Oh, what a thing to be dealing with in July, you know. Um, but then again, this is the time of year when people get university places and stuff like that. Um, it could be somebody leaving you. Whatever it is, it's a separation. It's definitely a separation of some kind. But it's a mutual thing and you both got to sort of accept this is what's happening and I, I think there is an acceptance um there's acceptance there's grief as in the healing and the cleansing you learn from the experience and you move forward and I find it very interesting we've got you know some of the songs that Prince brought out um are very much about heartbreak and you know relationships not working out um, so I find it rather interesting that we've got that in, in these three cards here. Um, right, let's have a look and see what's going on with the tarot cards. Because they may have something totally different to tell you. You never know. Right, okay. What have we got here? We have the Knave of Wands or the, the, the Page of Wands. Okay, we have Justice, so we have a major card. We have Judgment, another major card. In fact, the rest of them are all major cards. Uh, we've got Justice, Judgment, Strength, Hermit. Again, these two here, Strength and the Hermit. I really kind of feel these are strongly to do with the upper, with the upper level here, with the um, Oracle readings. In fact, the bottom feels very much like that as well. Um, this is an important stage in your life. I, um, you know, I either feel this is, as I say, I either feel this is a long-term relationship that is coming to its conclusion or it's like the big leaving home thing for the first time. Um, the big move is a big move certainly a big move um whether it be a big relationship move or whether it be a physical move um it will depend on your situation but again it just feels strongly that th you know it's about leaving things behind um it's like here when i look at the judgment card and you've got the angel and he's playing a trumpet it's almost like the people here are being left behind um I know they're sort of coming out of graves and stuff. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels to me like you're you're leaving. You're the angel. You're leaving. You're moving on. You've spread your spreading your wings as well. Spreading those wings, and you've got to leave those people behind. And it's almost like you're sort of playing a song or <laughs> um, something like that. You know, singing a song as you leave. It's leaving on a high. It's leaving on a on a good note but it's sad at the same time it's so sad and yet it's good um it, you know you've got to find that balance it, it, it's going to be hard it's going to be hard to make that decision it's um but it's for your own good um it's it's forging you know having the strength to forge that journey on your own to begin that journey um into something new into something unknown into something um exciting in a way you know you're both scared and excited at the same time that's kind of what i'm feeling here um there's certainly no laid back energy that you know we had with uh with with card one if you if you've been there, there was a, it was a much more laid back and sedate energy and this one is like no we're ready to go we do, you know it's going to be hard leaving whoever behind but we're ready and we're going to do it and let's just go for it you know okay Right, so our next little bit is your mindfulness exercise, which uh, is going to be uh, advising you for the month. We have this beautiful, um, in fact, isn't, isn't that, well, we're talking about travelling and leaving and uh, moving on, and we have a camper van, <laughs> of all things. Now, if that doesn't tell you, this is about moving forward 
uh, I don't know what is, you know, it's time to move forward. It's time to move on. So uh, let's have a look at what the mindfulness exercise is. <laughs> right. Change your language. Hmm. Interesting. Today, and ideally from this moment off, this moment on, I don't know why it says his moment, as obviously you've been a bit of a um, faux pas there. Take notice of your language. Think of the words you use like food. You want to feed your subconscious healthy words. For example, if you tell a kid, don't miss the bus, he thinks about missing the bus and how bad it will be, so his subconscious registers that message as negative. But if you say, hey, let's be early for the bus today, the subconscious regis registers it as a positive thought. Try to swap out all the negative words, can't, should, don't, should, shouldn't, with positive alternatives. Start feeding your mind with positive words and your emotions, actions and outcomes will follow suit. That is very wise words. Now, when I was, um, you know, everyone has therapy and, and stuff like that. When I was having CPT, um, one of the sort of little mantras that we uh, got to saying in the end was shouldn't, shouldn't say should. Uh, because I did a lot of that. I know I should be doing this. I should be doing that. And it puts a negative spin on things, puts a negative spin on, on, you know, and it makes you feel worse because you feel like you're not good enough. Whereas if you um, don't use that word, you know, should is a bad word, really, <laughs> especially for uh, positivity and stuff like that. And when people use those words, they're, you know, should and shouldn't. They're actually quite harmful words. Um, so they're not really a word that you, you want to be do, using in your language unless you absolutely have to, you know. Um, so that's definitely one to work on this month. If you should a lot, oh, I should be doing this, I should be doing that, try not to do that because it's not healthy. Okay. So, uh, yeah, just a little bit of advice there. Um, it sounds like you're just about to embark on a rather exciting but equally worrying journey. Uh, we all have to do it. We all have to uh, bite the bullet, flow the nest, move on, as it were. There's no harm in that. So what I'm going to suggest <laughs> is um, you... Mine's going blank. I don't want to do that. <laughs> anyway... Um, what I suggest is buckle up and enjoy the ride. <laughs> okay, buckle up and enjoy the ride. Anyway, um, if you want to uh, look at some of my other readings, I do have some other timeless readings. Uh, as I said, this is for July, um, or July 2023. Um, I try and put out timeless readings. Uh, at least once a week um, because as I say I'm a carer so my priority has to be looking after my autistic son um, but uh, I try and put out um, weekly readings when I can um, this is why I do them as timeless because I just felt they felt better as timeless readings rather than this is this week um, and I also do daily readings with the Tolkien theme because I'm a big Tolkien fan. So uh, I've got several decks now, which I swap in and out every month. And uh, so if you're curious, you know, a little bit Tolkien curious and you want to find out a little bit more or you just fancy a daily read with a little bit of a theme to it, then check out my daily readings. And if there's any of your reading, any of my readings that you like, please do comment and please do like and subscribe. My, my, oh, what are they called again? The comments are held for review. I do check them at least once a day. Um, so this is basically to protect you, the subscriber, against scammers and um, obviously me against scammers uh, because unfortunately they are all over youtube and they are you know causing problems for people uh and so the best way of dealing with it is to help hold for review and make sure that they don't cause any problems um i don't currently do private readings uh in case you were wondering uh when that changes um 
which I hope in the future it will it will depend on when my son is able to go into full-time school um because i can't really do readings when i've got a six-year-old autistic running around the house um i need to give him priority so um and at the moment he's only going to school for two hours a day so uh that's why i don't do private readings at this precise moment in time because i have to fit my tarot readings around the needs of my family um and so as i say if you want to if you want more of me then um you know check out my timeless readings check out my daily readings and uh i will see you there so all that remains to be said is take care look after yourselves and mind how you go and if you're going for another reading i will see you then take care hello card three and welcome to your reading right have we got some cards for you today <laughs> right we have um the decks that i've chosen are the um believe in your own magic oracle deck which is one of my favorite oracle decks i really love the imagery in this one and we have the uh witch's tarot as well which is a nice little deck um it's quite small i like the imagery on it it's only in like a cheap little deck um but it, it's a i would say it's a nice beginner deck but um also i just like all the imagery on it which is why i've got it and uh, it's quite small so it fits in your handbag really nicely um uh, so it's perfect for those little holiday readings that you might want to do when you um you know staying somewhere on holiday and uh so the, i think they're perfect for that really um but anyway let's get into july's reading right the card you have chosen was michael jackson okay can be a controversial figure um was certainly um when i was drawing these cards out it really had a um that the, they kept flipping out jumping out that's why i've ended up with six cards for tarot um there's a real sort of jumpy energy i can feel with 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 this uh reading and um uh, it'll be interesting to see how this comes out oh and a bit of yawning as well which definitely means there is a lot of charged energy with this reading okay let's see what spirit has to tell us um let's go first of all with our dear michael jackson here um we've got lifestyle on here being unusual is not enough you must be remarkable remove yourself from contact with the ordinary that was the lifestyle and finally for inspiration the the world is the dance floor of the creator and if we just go into the little blurb i don't think i did that for prince so i forgot that bit but never mind <laughs> maybe he didn't want the blurb didn't like the blurb about himself but we're going to do michael jackson's blurb anyway okay we got a magician who turned in the banal into the transcendent michael jackson cast a spell over the entire planet although he spent his adult life defying received notions of identity selfhood and race he was fundamental in promoting mainstream acceptance of black music through a combination of extraordinary showmanship writing skills and a precocious grasp of the importance of music videos the tragic arc of Jackson's life from traumatised child prodigy to re to retreat into increasingly desperate fantasy via stratospheric stardom, constantly beset by sordid sensationalism, innuendo and rumour, represents the destructive power of fame and fortune in the age of mass media, a tale of innocence, paradise and Neverland lost. Yes, I think, I think uh, for him, I think he did retreat into his sort of fantasy world and uh you know I, I possibly feel that that was probably part of his undoing really but anyway let's see what energy he has for us um i'm instantly drawn with this card to all the fairground attractions and roller coaster in particular I've only got thriller written down the bottom here but i don't think if this is a scary thriller i feel this is i'm being really drawn to the roller coaster here and life being 
life's ups and downs being both scary and exciting that's what i'm getting spirit is telling me um you know i'm not getting so much an energy about neverland as such but certainly about roller coasters and uh maybe, maybe you're maybe you're somebody who's really into roller coasters who really loves them i used to as a little girl not so much now um but uh yeah thrill seeker i'm getting here there's some thrill seekers in this uh pile three uh <laughs> whoa <laughs> right let's have a look further into uh the reading see if there's anything that's sort of gels with uh with with michael jackson card um library take control of your own narrative interesting that we should have that with michael, next to michael jackson because obviously um his life was sort of fighting the press and trying to um in some ways give them what they want and in other ways if they what he wanted them to know um you know, he, he did kind of use the press and they in turn used him. Um, so it's very interesting to have the to take control of your own narrative. And gold. You don't need someone else to fix you. Yeah, sometimes we feel, I, I, I think, especially if you're a child of trauma, if you've had um, a traumatic childhood or things have happened to you, there is a tendency um, to believe that someone will come and rescue you um you know i think they um i can't remember what they called it now magical thinking that's it that's the that's the psychological term for it it's magical thinking we have this idea that someone's going to come along and save us and that um they will make they will heal all our hurts and solve all our problems oh you really good they must be on the right track um but i'm afraid there comes a point when we have to realise that it's us who are going to save ourselves. It's us. We are our own princes. We are our own knights in shining armour. There isn't somebody going to come along and say, you know, I'm going to rescue you, blah, 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 you know. Um, and we need to fix ourselves. You know, what this young lady here has done. Um, she's uh, fixed her. She's done that thing that they do in Japan where you put the gold um you fix an item with gold and uh or like a gold uh lacquer or something like that so that the your the the damage is part of the design and uh, it does really does look beautiful when when um you see that so i kind of feel that's kind of what um is saying here you know use your scars like you know Put, put some gold stuff on them make them make something of them don't um be ashamed of your scars you know be they physical emotional whatever don't be ashamed of them accept them accept that they're part of you and um you know you don't have to try and be normal you know you you can um be yourself the only people you're going to scare away by being yourself are the people you don't want to know anyway all the good people will stay in your life. All the crappy people, they will just take a hike because, you know, you, 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 if you constantly try and please people, you're pleasing the wrong people and the right people can't see the real you. And the right people deserve the real you and they will love you for who you are. Okay. <laughs> A bit of advice there. Um, and, yeah, slay those dragons. Slay them all. Um, although I like dragons, I'd rather be riding the dragon than slaying the dragon, personally. But the sentiment is there. You know, you've got to slay your own dragons. You've got to slay your own doubts. If those dragons are like your, oh, I don't feel pretty, I, d I, I don't feel attractive, I don't, I I'm no good at anything, blah, 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 blah. You, you've got to slay those yourself. You've got to repair yourself, not wait around for the handsome prince to come along. You know, because he's not coming and nine times out of ten that so-called handsome prince when you get to know them they're probably narcissists anyway so you really don't want that you know especially when you're healing from trauma because you end up becoming a narcissist magnet <laughs> so you know repair yourself 
make your repairs beautiful and go slay your doubts, slay your dragons, slay the things that are bothering you and you will come you will come into the world from a place of strength and power and then all those scary dodgy people won't give, won't want to give you the time of day you know and you'll draw all the right people to you you know so let's have a look at our lovely tarot cards here right what we've got here is we've got the two of pentacles the queen of wands we have uh the king of cups we have the five of cups six of wands and the ace of wands we've really got a wand dominant uh reading here as i say you've got an extra card because one extra one flipped out now when i'm looking at this <laughs> when i'm looking at this two of pentacles here i am look this young lad is using his powers with a lot of concentration Ooh, ooh you're like, huh, on the right track I've got a lot of concentration trying to keep keep them balanced and if he if he let's go with that concentration for just one second those coins those pentacles are going to drop on the floor and he's going to start all over again okay and the feeling I'm getting is eventually he's going to turn them around. That's what he's aiming for. But he is completely focused on his task. He's not allowing people to distract him and disturb him. He's completely focused. And that's what you need to be, completely focused on whatever the task is at hand. Not thinking, oh, well, can I do it? Just keep practicing. You know, he's bound to drop those pentacles a few times. He probably has already dropped them a few times. And this, we've caught him in the, in the time when he's actually achieving what he wants to achieve. But if he gets too excited, then it's going to drop again and, and we'll be back to square one. So, yeah, he's doing really well. Right. Which means you're doing really well. Okay. Right. We have our lovely Queen of Wands here. And she she really looks like she's the cat who got the cream. She's got a lovely ginger cat on her lap as well. And she really feels very, very summery which is perfect for July. And each of these wands have got these lovely, um, you know, lovely, oh, what's the word for it? I want to say staves for some reason, um, with the with the flowers on them. Each of these six, oh, I've got flowers on them. And uh, I think that's really, really lovely. And I'm really drawn to those. It's almost like... Um, the work that's been put in, the concentration that's been put in is slowly paying off. Um, yeah, there have been a few wobbles. Um, as I say, we have the ki the King of Cups here. And I kind of feel that maybe you have some a family member in your life. It might be a male family member or it might be somebody with... Um, I'm not sure it could be male or female but it's the energy is that it's that sort of divine male energy um and they're not being completely supportive of what you want to do you know either they're keeping back how they feel you know they don't but they don't wholly support what you're doing they have got five cups here um loss and worry and it's kind of i know it's comes from a place of concern with whatever you're working on um and as i say I've got this young lad here and this is you again i feel this is both you and and you're working on this task and you're doing you know you're starting to it's starting to pay dividends because you're you're um your staves are, are flowering but as i say this this person's a bit oh, i really i'm not sure about this oh, you know you could go wrong you know, it's, it's almost like the little the little doubting thomas in your ear and i don't think this is you i feel this is somebody else uh in your circle who's just been a little bit a little bit of a negative you know and i i think they mean it from a good place but 
it's still negative. Um, you are going to overcome that. Um, I would just, I would just tell them, you know, just smile sweetly and go, yeah, you know, it might work out, it might not, and, and just smile sweetly and humour them. That's that's all I'm saying. Don't rise to it. Don't rise to their doubts because you'll probably find <laughs> that if whatever it is you're doing is successful um be it, I'm, I'm thinking it's like a course of study um or um or a business idea that you're going to go for it's going to be successful it's going to work really well and they will probably be the first people saying oh yeah i i, I never had any doubt you know it's one of those kind of people they're going you know oh I, I never doubted them for a second you know <laughs> um it's only one of those things, but the, you, you're really going to, um, as I say, you've got the Ace of Wands, you've got the, the Six of Wands here, whatever endeavour that you're going for, um, just don't worry about the Doubting Thomases, just do it anyway, because it's going to be successful and uh, everybody is going to be singing your praises. Okay, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, the last little bit we're going to do is the mindfulness jar, <laughs> a little something from the mindfulness jar for the month, um, some mindful exercises. I find it interesting we've got sort of like um, New York with the sort of entertainments, uh, ent full of entertainments and screens and the big hubbub and, and it doesn't appeal to me at all. It does not appeal to me. But anyway, um, I find it interesting that's with Michael Jackson. He just sort of um, has that glitz and glamour to it, um, which, uh, you know, I'm not. I'm more of a go somewhere quiet and have a peaceful life type of person. But anyway, right, we're going to get on here. And uh, what the exercise is, is full sensory awareness exercise. Okay, this one you do now, right now, wherever you are, just stop. Look around when it's safe to do so. Become aware of everything that your senses pick up. How do you feel? Do you feel overstimulated? Do you feel anxious? Take a moment and appreciate where you are and what is happening along with how you are actually feeling at this very moment cool so i hope you'll try that over the month and um you know let me know uh, how it goes um all my comments are held for review uh and i check them once a day so if you find that you put a comment up and it's not there it just means that i haven't had a chance to check them but i do check them regularly so if i miss one day then i might um pick them up the next day uh at the end of the day i am a carer a full-time carer for my son and at the moment he's only um he's autistic and he's only doing two hours of schooling a day so obviously my priority is him which is why i don't do private readings so if anyone ever offers you claiming to be me and is offering you a private reading it won't be me because i'm not doing private readings at this precise moment in time uh if that changes i will let you know um but i am doing daily readings on my channel um which are tolkien themed because i'm a big tolkien fan and i try to put a little bit a little bit of lore into uh, my readings as well so um hopefully if you enjoy that uh or just want a, a daily read from me then uh, please do check out my um my daily readings and i try to get a some kind of reading out longer readings out every week um this is going to be my one for july so uh, i hope you've enjoyed that and uh if you en did enjoy it then please feel free to like and subscribe and uh that would be a bonus too so all that remains to be said is take care look after yourselves and mind how you go